I recently spent some time in my kid's bedroom going through their bookshelf um, to see what, what we're surrounding them with. And I had assumed that because I am so enlightened that their bookshelf was filled with images that, that smashed this gendered earning caregiving paradigm. That's not what happened. Um, the books I'm reading to my children every night are heavily reinforcing this caregiver earner paradigm. And I didn't even realize it until I sat down to write this speech and went into my kid's room and started looking. So the first thing you need to know is that all moms wear aprons all the time. <laughs> Here is a kangaroo mother wearing an apron. Here is a muskrat mother in an apron shouting at her children, as I do. Here's Elmo's Aunt Sue, apron. Here's a Russian grandmother baking a bread roll for her husband, whose legs are apparently broken. Here's the mom in flat Stanley, apron. I can't show you this without reading you what is on the facing page. It reads, Mrs. Lambchop was making breakfast. Mr. Lambchop at the kitchen table helped by reading bits from the morning paper. <laughs> That's how he helped. Here's Spider-Man's Aunt May, apron. Goodbye, Peter. I'll be in this house all day if you need me. Of course, aprons are a symbol of domestic femininity. And sure enough, I was unable to find a single image of a boy or a man wearing an apron in my children's bookshelf. But then a friend told me, you know, Eric Carle, the Hungry Caterpillar author, she told me about a book he wrote called My Apron, and it's about a boy. So I was super excited, and I thought, shoot, I'm going to have to rewrite my whole talk, because apparently I was wrong. Um, so I checked it out. Um, so he wants an apron so he can be like his uncle, the bricklayer. And his aunt at home sews the apron for him. And then his aunt packs up a lunch and sends the two men off to work, so it's not the same kind of apron at all. 